Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzo. And I'm Dr. Brad Lean. Okay, Brad, thanks for answering my call. Yes. I thought, uh, thought today we could talk about masks. Okay. Because sort of, uh, a lot of people have been asking about the N95 mask and regular masks, and there's a lot of confusion out there about masks. Yes. So what do you think? Can we have a little quick chat about that? I think that's a great idea. So it's Saturday, March 28th, 2020. Um, unfortunately, COVID-19 is still certainly pressing on. It's debatable whether or not it's slowing down or flattening, and that's for the scientists to decide. Um, but definitely there are still issues. There are definitely a lot of conversation about masks and their availability. So specifically, the N95 is getting a lot of attention, so we're going to kind of break it down and tell you what the heck an N95 mask is. All right, good. Okay, and before we get going, anything new? Noticed anything? Any so, share? so you'll notice today I'm wearing my uh, Raptors hoodie. So um, officially, yesterday our junior basketball season was uh, was ended by the league. So I coach U15 girls this is the third year I've coached. We got to the point where we were ranked tenth in the province, but in light of all the uh, problems medically around the world, the season has been canceled. So unfortunately. Uh, uh, end to the season so shout out to all my kids who are great players this year but our season is over competitively anyway oh i'm sorry to hear that but yeah that is, that's that you guys were on a run there weren't we you? were we were about to peak at the right time but whatever it is what it is there's more serious things going on in the world yeah oh and uh for our patients uh elective surgeries canceled through april now that's changed that's canceled yes. right through april uh, we'll keep you updated as long as as soon as we get updated and one other thing that i that i've seen in the media and my wife brought stuff to me she she mentioned that some of the provinces are setting up snitch lines uh, oh. where people can phone if someone is breaking the the rules of social distancing or what, what are your thoughts on that paul i'm not a big fan okay uh, of, the, of, of the snitching line. or the breaking the rules no i mean i think you got to try your best to follow the rules for sure but i'm not a big fan of the snitch line I think uh, communities have to try and band together now and feel closer to each other, even though they're physically distanced. Snitch lines kind of drive a wedge between people and communities. And uh, I'm not a big fan. I'd have liked it if they set up a hotline maybe for people who are, who are having trouble self-isolating mm -hmm. or having trouble staying at home. Like I'm 15, I don't get along with my dad. I need help, I can't stay in the house. I'm a, I'm a single parent with two kids, I'm having trouble. I think they actually do have some of those lines though. To be honest, really? I'm not sure about the Ontario yeah. government, but definitely I've, I've heard of those like to keep people connected. And yeah, there's obviously a very yeah. stressful time. Um, yeah. yeah, the snitch line is tricky. I, I think people are worried that if if I got on a plane from a, a hot zone and I decided to, to go out, that's probably not yeah. fair to the rest of my community. That's all. Sure. Except the problem is now in Mark neighborhood, community spread is higher than travel spread by uh, travel. So, so stay home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay home. Do your best to stay home and don't stick your head out the window and snitch on people that are, yes. have to get out of the house for whatever reason. You don't know why they have to get out of the house. They may have a good reason for it. So, And then the cop has to go talk to that person. That's more interaction. Well, they said people that break the quarantine law in Ontario now could face a $250,000 fine and three months in prison. Uh, I, know. I heard it was seven hundred and fifty. Oh, okay, seven fifty. dollars There you go. It's insane. Yeah. Anyways, That's okay. So, okay, N95. That, let's get... All right. Okay, so, so what's so, the deal with... so? Paul, we always see people on TV and on Grey's Anatomy and they're wearing masks uh, when they go into surgery or in the ER, are they wearing an N95 mask? No, most of the time you're wearing a mask like this. This is a procedure mask. Okay. It goes over your face like this. Looks and very it has good. a wire at the top and you can pinch it. Yep. Right? And that's a procedure mask. And, and would you say that this... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. The idea of this mask uh, really is to prevent me spreading an infection to someone else. So if I'm in the OR and I'm wearing a mask similar to this, it's to prevent me from contaminating the wound so the patient doesn't get an infection. Yes. Okay? It doesn't do a ton to protect me. No, other than maybe blood in your mouth if your mouth is open or something. Okay, that's kind of gross, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. And you can see on the sides, there's a lot of room for stuff to get in, right? It's not a perfect seal, it's not that tightly on. Right. So it's not, it's not going to protect me from, to a significant degree, from catching something from someone else, unlike the N95 mask. Right? right. Right. So the N95, we talked a little bit in our last video. So the 95 is it protects you from 95% of the particles that are, I believe, 5 microns or 
Uh, three. Sorry, three microns or less. And the yeah. average droplet size is about five microns. So the goal is to reduce those droplets that are generated with coughing and sneezing from being able to penetrate. Right. So, so I'll show a picture of an N95 right here. Yeah. Why, um, why don't you have one? I don't have one because I don't want to take one out of circulation. They are so hard to yeah. come by now. Like yeah. They're really limited. I really don't want to take one out of circ circulation. I want them to be used for the real purpose. So we're just going to show a picture. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so N95 is pre preventing 95% of particle size, three microns, like you said, is smaller than the average size of the droplet that's coming out of a cough or a sneeze. Yeah. But Keep in mind, there's a there's a, a spectrum of drop sizes. Oh, that droplets aren't all exactly the same size. Yeah, yeah, we're not kind enough to uh, spew out droplets all the same size. Yeah. So you can have droplets that are one, two, or smaller than three microns and and much bigger, but the majority of the droplets are like three or bigger. So that's the idea with the N95. And like I, I said before, to get N100, you won't be able to breathe. I also think the size of the droplet is how they predicted that six foot mark, right? It's like how far a droplet can travel yeah. before it falls out of the air. So yeah. that, that, that approximation yeah. is certainly significant. So, right. so, so, so say I go to the store and I see there's an N95 mask at my local whatever store. Can I just take it buy and it. bring it home? Buy it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what if, is it one size fits all? Right. So uh, as you know, we, we had fittings of these done at the hospital, right? We every had a couple years, health. Every few years, yeah. we have to go and get fitted for an N95. Yeah. And the way that works is that, because there's different manufacturer N95s, not the same one will work the best for everybody. Yeah. So you put on one N95 mask, and then you seal it all around your face just by the wires, and you push it in, make sure it's sitting tight, and you pull the elastics real tight, so it's like uncomfortable, really. It's pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, the and then they would put a hood over us and put in a, a substance that we can smell, ask us if we can smell it or not, and if we can't smell it, that means that we are getting protected yeah. from, the stuff, from that stuff coming in. Uh, and so if that model doesn't fit you, then you go to another model, you know what I mean? And, so and the whole the process takes like 15 you. or 20 minutes, like it's a, yeah, it's like a big it's a deal. Process. Yeah. It's a big deal. So uh, that's the deal with the N95 masks. They really are custom, they're all not quite custom fitted, but there's a certain, you might not, one might not work for you, one might work for you. Right. So you're fitting that mask, you gotta make sure you have a good seal around it so that every breath you take uh, comes in through the material of the mask. Every move you make. Every move. Okay, Sting. Um, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of companies that make them. Some of the bigger ones are 3M and Honeywell. And I read an article that 3M started increasing their production back on January 21st, in anticipation, yeah. and that the, the whole people on the planet is this plant in South Dakota yeah. where everyone's working overtime and they're really proud to be part of the solution. And they estimate they're going to make one billion masks this year, and it still won't be enough. Right. Right. They'll have enough as soon as the pandemic is over, probably. Yes. However, it'll be good to have for the next one. We can we can uh, st you know stockpile them for the next pandemic. Interestingly, uh, but, yeah, that's the in about fifty A.D. there was um, there was a philosopher that wrote about how people that went into the sulfur mines they used old animal bladders as masks. Did you know that? I did not know that, <laughs> and I don't think my dog lying over there would appreciate that story. <laughs> I know. However, it's funny how things evolve, right? <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It was probably like yeah, N20. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It probably didn't smell very good either. No. No, definitely not. No. Um, okay, so... And the first person that watched someone do that would be like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why do you have a animal bladder on your face? I just, it's how we've evolved over the last 2,000 yeah. years. Um, so, yeah, so the take-home message for N95 is... A, they're in, in really super short supply, so if you don't need them, don't use them. And a lot of hospitals are even asking people or contractors that use them as well to, to donate them. So try to use them carefully. Uh, B, they have to be fitted. And, and C, let's just hope we can make a whole bunch quickly. But, and hopefully this thing ends before, before it becomes a huge yeah. problem. And, and, and N95 mask is just one component of the level of protection that a healthcare worker is supposed to use in a suspected case. Uh, and there's the N95 mask, a yes. full face shield, yes. long gloves, and an impermeable gown. And that falls so, under the uh, umbrella of PPE. Yeah. Personal protective equipment. You hear a lot about it on CNN, oh, PPE, PPE. That's exactly what yeah. it is. So it's not just a mask, small part, totally agree. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's, yeah, so those are all the components of the PPE, which are in shortage uh, at most hospitals. 
everywhere and that makes sense right because we, we, you, you never have you never need this many at a time and so no. you really need a whole bunch they're in shortage yes yeah, so we're just trying to do so our part go. to keep people educated during uh, this very uh, nerve-wracking and anxious time uh now you understand a little more about what this mask is that everybody's talking about and hey if you like this video please like it subscribe to our channel or leave us a comment down below we'd be happy to enjoy a conversation with you and remember we're going to get through this it feels like forever but it's not going to be forever. It's a finite amount of time. We don't know if it's going to be weeks. Hopefully it's going to be more weeks and not many, many more months. We don't know. Nobody really knows. A lot of people pretend they know and say, oh, it's going to be many months, years. We don't know. We're going to get through it. So stay positive and uh, you are in charge of your own health. Be safe. We'll talk to you soon.